Hi everyone, it's Monica, and welcome back to TaylorMade Cards for You. Well, I'm at it again. I have been shopping at some thrift stores, and I wanted to share with you a couple of the things that I found. Now, this little pouch that you see that's decorated, it started out completely white, and I used some vintage ephemera to decorate it to create a nice little pouch to house some of my um, printables or anything that I like. Now this is what it started out as, just white, plain envelope, but what I really liked about it is it's really sturdy, so I can house some of my collectibles in it, um, and it won't just be a dull, boring white envelope, it'll be a nice pouch. Now a few weeks ago I purchased this book from another uh, Etsy seller, and it is a reproduction of a Sears catalog, and it has some great advertisement. So what I am, am starting to do is I'm starting to scan some of these images and use them for not only my card making, but some of my uh, decorative items as well. Now this is the other thing that I found at the thrift store. We all remember those printers where you had to feed the paper, right? Well, what I really love about this paper is it's thin, so it's great for collaging, but it also has that vintage um, look because it's pretty aged. Um, so I can easily stick it in my printer and print some of this great ephemera. Um, or I can even stamp on it and fussy cut it. But it's really great for collaging. And that's exactly what I did. I stuck it in my printer and I printed out some of this great ephemera. Now as you can see I have an 8x10 page that I can easily cut up and use for my collaging. Or I can use it on my card making. But then I also have some of these other collage pages that I created. Uh, and this is what I use to decorate my envelope. And that's what I'm going to share with you today. I'm going to go ahead and um, put together this tutorial to show you how I use some of this ephemera to create a collage. And keep in mind, I'm decorating this envelope, but you can use this technique for cards, for scrapbooking, um, or you can even cover any um, boxes that you may have. It makes a great little gift as well. So keep in mind, you don't have to just do cards. You can always create collages to hang on the wall or even to give us gifts. Now the medium that I'm using to um, adhere my ephemera is my Distress Collage Medium. And I'm going to be using a couple of uh, tubes here. I'm going to use the matte finish and then I'm also going to be using the vintage finish because I want to age my paper just a little bit more. And then I'm also using some of this uh, washi tape from, um, I think this is from Tim Holtz. Um, I'm not really sure, but it's a really thin uh, uh, washi tape and um, it makes a nice border. Now I didn't want to take my paper all the way to the edge and that's why I decided to use my washi tape around the border of my um, envelope. Also, I didn't want to have any white edges um, when you look on the side of the envelope, so the washi tape was a nice way to be able to cover that as well. And then after I had all of the edges covered, I did take my tonic uh, guillotine cutter and I cut up my ephemera to use on my collaging. Now I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video while I go through the collage process and then I'm going to be back at the end to kind of walk you through the finishing touches.
Now, if you've never done collaging before, it really is relaxing. It's one of my favorite techniques, and I love to not only collage cards, but anything that I can find. I've also collaged cigar boxes in the past before. So again, if you've never tried collaging, you really got to give it a try. All right, so as you see, I added some finishing touches um, on my advertisement, which says the Ladies Summer Union Suit. And as I went along, you probably saw that I did use some of that vintage, vintage collage medium, which did darken it up just a bit. Now, one of the things that I'm probably going to change is, um, since I'm probably not going to seal this envelope, I'm going to cut it and create some sort of a closure um, on these envelopes so I can just use it to house some of my paper ephemera. Um, and hopefully I can show you some pictures of that in the future. But I did want to just walk through the collaging process for you and also let you know that these envelopes are for sale in my Etsy shop. So if you are interested in getting one of these little envelopes, um, I will leave some links for you. I'm also going to leave some links to some of these principles so you can try some collaging on your own. So as always, I'll leave a list of all the products that I've used below. And if you've enjoyed the video, I would sure appreciate a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know what you thought of my collage video. Alright everybody, thanks for stopping by and we'll see you again next time.